Hi, I'm PJ Matavish. Welcome back to another DCG tutorial. So in this one, we're going to finish off our dihedral angle tutorial. And in the previous one, it was a four point question. In this one, we're going to do a six point one. So you see here, all six points are separate. Okay, you have three points per triangle. Another way this can come up is, if you see this one here, you can have a five point question where you have the laminas ABC and ADE. And if you pause, you can probably take down those coordinates yourself to do that question, all right? So you have ABC and ADE. So point A is on both triangles, therefore point A is one point on the line intersection. So it's slightly easier, you only have to do one cut section across. So first thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna label all the, um, label all the points and get my two triangles, ABC and DEF. Okay, so there is our lamina or our triangle ABC and then you have the same one in plan A1, B1, C1 and DEF and then you have DEF. Now I was going to put a bit of shading on it but I'll leave that till the end. So this again is a worksheet and your teacher would have it so you might be able to print it off here if you want. It's around, I think it's around worksheet between 39, 40, 41 maybe. So the top here says find the line of intersection using horizontal cut method of the two given lamina and then term the hedral angle. Horizontal cut method, you draw a horizontal cut across through your two triangles. And it has to be horizontal, it has to be parallel to the XY line. All right. The reason for that is I'm going to give you two individual points on each lamina. So you'll have two points on the ABCD or ABC triangle and two points on the DEF triangle. And the points will be on the edges. Okay, and those two points are joined to give you lines in the plan. And in the plan, you'll have those two lines and they should cross, and with the cross, that will give you a point on the line in section. So you can draw your horizontal cuts across anywhere, but I find it easier if you draw it from a given point. So if you see here, if we draw a line straight across from E, keep this nice and light. If we draw a horizontal cut straight across from E, here's that's the first cut be one of our points on DEF triangle. Follow it across, it cuts the DEF triangle again over here. It also cuts the ABC triangle here and here. So we're getting a range of points there. So I'd say this is, we'll go with the DEF triangle first. So I'll label from left to right. So this point here is point zero, this point, point one, and this point here is point two. Now the important thing is that these points are projected down to the same lines in plan. So the zero here is on the DF line. It has to be on the DF line in plan. If point one is on the AB line in elevation, it has to be on the AB line in plan. And same with uh, point two. So I'll project those down to plan and fast forward. Okay, so there we have point zero on the DF line, point one on the AB line, and point two on the VC line. And you must join the points on the same lamina and the same triangle. So you see here points one and two are on ABC and points E and zero are on DEF. So I'll join point E to point zero. And I'll join points one and two. Now what you see there is where they cross will give you one point on your line of intersection. Now if this is a 5.1 like I showed you at the start, you join that back to your point A. But because this is a six point question and no point is common to both triangles, we need to do another horizontal cut. And again, the important thing here is that you cut through both triangles, all right? So maybe cross from C now. And you see here, C is coming from one of your points. It cuts the ABC triangle again over here, and it cuts the DEF triangle down there. So let's join or label those points so we can label this. That's point C, we'll join the point three here. Then you have points four and five. Project them down to plan, find them in plan. So now we join C back to three. At four back to five. 
So what's the problem here? The problem is they're not crossing, okay? So if you find that in the exam where you brought your line across, what you need to do is extend them so that they do meet. So if you extend C to three back down here, extend four to five, and even though they're meeting outside the lamina, this is still a point on your line section if it was extended. So you need to extend them and join up your two lines to give you a point in line section. I'll join this point back to that point. I'm going to do it lightly first. That is my line of intersection. And what goes in strong is only the element of it that is within both lamina. So from here to there, okay? So this is the only part that goes in strong. Okay, why doesn't it go out strong here? Because if it was out strong here, it would only be on one lamina. And the line section has to be common to both. So this section inside here is within both triangles. So you stop at the first line you meet, you won't go outside of a lambda. So that's your line section. Project that up to the elevation. So that's your line section in elevation and in plan. And once you've done that, horizontal cut method. Once you've found, found the line of section, it reverts back now to the same process we did with the four point one. We need to find the true length of the line of section first, then we can do a point view of it, and then we get our dihedral angle. So that means our two auxiliary views. And as you see here, neither are parallel to the x, y line, therefore neither of these lines in section in elevation or plan are true lengths. So we must do the first perpendicular view. So I can project perpendicular up here, or I could project project perpendicular down. So I might go perpendicular up here to the right hand side and put the XY line really close in here just to make sure I save room and put a datum line across from A to save you room in the height. Okay, so project perpendicular to your line section here in the plan, project an auxiliary elevation and get your heights from the XY line up or in this case a datum line across through A. Okay, I'll fast forward to this. Now, we'll keep this all nice and light until we do our second oxygen review, so you should be able to see it okay. Once you've put in the two lamina, now it's kind of sitting over this one, but look, follow the layman. D2, E2, F2, that's that DEF triangle, and then A2, B2, C2, that's our ABC triangle. You now project up the line section, because this is going to give you a true length. So look, it cuts the DE line here, and it cuts the EF line there. So project those two points up to the same lines in our auxiliary review. Okay, so that now is a true length of the line section. And remember from the last uh, part A of this tutorial, why is that a true length? It's a true length here in this auxiliary view because in your previous view, it is parallel to the XY line, okay? Because we projected perpendicular to it. So this now is a true length, and that's a true length. We can project our lamina down again, parallel to it, do our second auxiliary view, straight down here, and mark in all six points, okay? And so I'll fast forward through this. So you're gonna project parallel to the true length now, all six points straight down here. You're gonna see the true length or the line section as a point, and you're gonna see the lamina now as edges, okay? You get your distances from the X1, Y1 back, and again, I'm gonna put in a datum line there at E1, just to save me a bit of room. Now, so once you find all six points, they should be edge views, therefore they should be straight lines. So if you just check here, the DEF lamina is straightforward enough. As you see there, my D is slightly off. Okay, so let's draw that in. 
and these can go in strong. And then the ABC triangle, is, you see C is very, very off there. B and C. Now, they might be off just from when you're doing your projections that you're a small bit off at your angles or that you're a small bit off at your distances and so on. All right, but you don't put in different angles. You want a straight line. These lamina should be a straight line. So maybe B should be lower. The important thing is that they're meeting on the line in section, which is follow that down roughly on C there. So if we join B to C, it shows that our A was a good bit off there. But what you do on the date exam is you just move your A up here, move that to A3, all right? Because you can always might be a small bit off, but never have these lines going at an angle. It's an edge view of the lamina, therefore it should be uh, a straight line, okay? But once you've found that auxiliary view, your dihedral angle is just the angle between the surfaces. So you can mark in either of these, it doesn't matter. Now this is obviously opposite angles, these are the same, these are the same. So you're not gonna mark in all four, or you, four of them aren't an option, only two. So this one or this one, but it doesn't matter. Either or, because you found the edge view of those two intersecting surfaces. Therefore, you've determined the dihedral angle between the true angle between them. Now, if you want, you can work backwards and put in the rest of the laminas in strong. And I might do that and put in a bit of shade now and fast forward to that. Okay, so that's that worksheet done, that question done. Well, it's a bit of shading showing <clears throat> what's in front, what's behind. Again, just a recap on that. If you have a six, four point question, you're given the line section. If you have a five point one, you have one point, and you have to do one of these horizontal cuts. In this case, if you have six individual points, then you gotta do two horizontal cuts. Now, the thing came up in 2009, and I have it up on the channel as well. Uh, one of the edges of the lamina, points A and C, were actually parallel to the XY line. So that could be used as a cut, and what points are on the ABC triangle, but the two points AC. It was just the same line again, all right? But it's very important that the same points, or the points on the same lamina are joined together. So in this case, one and two are on ABC, so therefore one and two have to be joined together to find a point. If they don't intersect, extend them, find it, and then that will give you your angle. Your dihedral angle is just the true angle between the lamina. So in these elevations and plans, you can't see the angle between them because you need to look right in at that line and section as a point and see the edge view of your lamina. So I hope I went through it in there. Uh, if there's anything I left out or anything I didn't explain properly, just ask me in the comment section below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.